Hello, today is April the nineteenth. It's a gorgeous day.、Um, I've been relatively busy and lazy because of a, a friend situation and some of the、uh, the training I was taking, some of the seminars, webinars, and the boot camps. I learned quite a bit of stuff,、um, and I delivered some really good trainings、uh, on the Saturday. And yesterday was a working day, working out day. I was spending a whole lot of time in the yard, back,、uh, and fixing things and do the ones that uh, I. Uh, it was a long due. And today, I think it's going to be a awesome episode.、Uh, think about something and for which I have been working on for a long time, which is a problem solving. And I had an early conversation with someone that who wrote down thirty、uh, some questions and didn't see the business results、um, and the outcomes、uh, she was desiring. <clears throat> and the question was, you know, what's the value of those thirty questions? Maybe I got wrong questions. Maybe I got, you know, I was、uh, not working hard enough. So my coaching too. To her was, you know, you can't solve. You know, let's talk about a few things. Number one, the quality of the the problem, the quality of the question, quality of the problem.、Um, and the second, we're talking about the, the quantity of the problem and the questions, right? So let's talk a little bit about quality. You know, what is good question? What is a good problem? And I had,、um, I would actually、uh, record a new episode about that. And usually,、uh, people think, you know, I got a question, I need to address it right now.、Um, but do you know that、uh, you can cannot solve the problem at the level where the problem was from? So basically, you cannot solve the problem at the the level of that problem. So if you came up with that problem or question, and you were able to address it,、um, sorry,、uh, you just wasted an opportunity of that problem or the question. What do I really mean? Well, I find the answer. Well, actually, is that God's will to let you to find the answer, or is that、uh, God's will to elevate your thinking to a different level? You cannot. Solve the problem at the level of the problem. You have to elevate your thinking. So, how do I solve the problem? Well, you ask the more experienced folks or higher level、uh, thinker to help you address the problem, and that's how you address the problem. How you solve the problem, and you just cook the meal in the house,、uh, not to leverage、uh, higher level of thinking is wasting of a resource, right? And the second is about a quantity of the problem. Quantitatively, the problems, you know, thirty, twenty, forty,、uh, may mean something, but really they don't mean much. The quantity by itself is a rhythm, is a habit. It's just to urge you to do something, to take actions, right? When you come up with the questions, that's awesome. Problem, that's awesome. That means that you're doing something. So I would not belittle my questions. I would actually look at my questions again to see whether my questions are at the right quality that I need to. And the second is, am I leveraging the right resource to address those questions and the problems for me, so that I can elevate my thinking? So, if I have a how question, instead of just addressing the how. I'm gonna try to find out first introspectively. I'm gonna find out why I had that how question. So sometimes is is the resistance in your mind. Sometimes is the weakness in your will that caused you to ask that question. Make sense? With that said, I'm pumped up. I'm fired up. I'm super toasted by the blessings. Zoomy.